Hey guys, what's up? This is Jay Zan. This is Die Hard Dungeon. This is a game by Toby Lan and Trick Tales Studio. This is a Studios, I guess. It's it's pretty much him. Um, it's it's kind of a roguelike game. It's a a game where you play a rogue going into a dungeon or a treasure hunter, and um, the goal is to survive. You you have to make it through the dungeon. You choose different floors as you progress, and the goal is to kill three bosses without dying. And then when you when you finish, you can make your name on the dungeon, and um, and you can choose uh, good or evil, and then that affects how uh, uh, other people see you in their in their dungeons. It's um it's very m mild in uh, in dungeon impact, but it's it's still kind of a neat feature. So let's hop into the game real quick. I'll show you. It has pretty good cinematographer cinematography. For a uh, indie game, which uh, I thought was pretty cool, decent graphics. The music fidelity is pretty good, and the graphics are are very good also. Um, those are probably some of their strongest points that go forward in the game. And it has various camera effects, like when you stop moving, it zooms in, and then you move, and then you uh, you move, it'll zoom back out a little bit, and it kind of keeps giving you the whole ominous feeling. That zooming in is like kind of nerve wracking. And this is uh, where you choose your floors. You can choose hard or easy. Um, you have to beat the game once to unlock hard. And uh, as you progress and kill stuff, um, you'll gain in dif in a uh, you'll gain experience, which will make the dungeons harder. And um, you get a couple types of weapons, and they're pretty much all you get. There's not a huge variety in. Uh, items that you can pick up, and there aren't unlocks in this game, um, like uh, many other roguelikes, which is unfortunate, because that's kind of what adds replayability on my part, um, knowing that I'm progressing in the game. Some roguelikes are, are just fine with no unlocks, and others kind of need them, in my opinion. Um, and as, as you know, as you've seen my channel, I play a lot of roguelikes, and... Um, you can sort of tell the kinds, the types that I prefer um, by my various videos. Um, this one is a uh, uh, one that kind of would need, um, in my opinion, unlocks to keep interest going, because you do find items in the game, just like any other uh, dungeon crawling roguelike that sort of improve your abilities, like that blue tile there. Um, is kind of like a chest that will give you items. Um, you get currency that you find that carries through your um, that carries through your playthroughs that will um, uh, allow you to open those to donate in those tiles. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna drop one in. And I'll show you. This is your majority of your items that you're gonna find. You find chests occasionally. So the top left there, I've found twelve in about five runs, six runs or so, uh, minus uh, the ones that I've spent. Uh, you have temporary upgrades like this one, and then you have uh, tokens that drop, and you have money, and then you have also have items that drop in. Items include things like, um, where's the lock? There it is. Things that include like a range upgrade, meaning like, twice the length of your sword, which is not really huge. Then you have something that like makes your bombs three times the explosion radius, and then there's a bunch of immunity upgrades that protect you from the various status elements this game has. Um, and uh, some that make you throw daggers, which uh, kind of give you a ranged attack. Um, I think it's, it's a pretty fun game for a few runs, but um, it doesn't really have very much replayability in my opinion. Once you beat it the first time there's not really much else to, to look, really care about. You can try and beat it on a uh, hard mode and then there's a score mode which I mean it plays back onto that the whole uh, uh, do you want to beat the other person's high score type thing but uh, again I, in a roguelike this kind of a roguelike um, it doesn't really draw too much interest for me personally. Um, so take that as you will. Um, for the most part, this is rogue, um, this is the game. 
uh, you have there's not a huge variety of enemies either. There's a few. I mean, the f the harder the, the the harder the difficulty gets, the more challenging the enemies get, obviously. Um, but there isn't a huge selection of enemies, and um, you find that a lot of similar strategies work the same. I didn't talk about the chest though. The chest, <clears throat> the chest is a is a companion that collects all the money that you find. In the money is basically experience for your chests, and as your chest gets enough experience, it'll level up. It eventually it'll it'll level up enough to where it sh attacks the enemies, which is actually incredibly useful. And then it'll also eventually summon more chests to um, attack the enemy. And uh, it takes kind of a bit of money though to do that. So we're gonna try and get to the first boss before. So um, there's usually about five rooms before each each boss. And also, the harder the game gets, the harder the bosses are. Um, so yeah, I just died. All right, let's retry here. The harder your difficulty is, the more experience you get. This is a treasure chest. It's kind of a randomizer of one to th one to three, zero to three, and sometimes it's zero. And if it's three, it'll give you like a, sl a slot machine type thing. We'll do hard mode this time. And the slot machine is a uh, fairly generous. It's probably like fifty fifty chance. Do the hard stuff. Uh, it won't let me. Guess we're going down. But yeah, um, when it comes to variety, you're, you, you've got this short range sword, you've got your cannon attack, and then the various upgrades that improve upon those. But that's it, you don't really find anything that gives you anything cool. Really? The upgrades are very, very simple, which also detract from re the replayability. A lot of zombies in here. We're not even gonna fight them. There's too many. So, take it as you will. Um, if you want to purchase this game, I'm gonna link the game in the description. It's fun for a couple playthroughs, and if you if you don't mind playing, um, if you don't mind getting a game that's only gonna give you a few playthroughs. Um, then this is fine because um, it's fun. It's fun for a couple playthroughs, but then it gets very samey. You, you start to pretty much do the same thing. You recognize the same enemies, and the, you don't get enough upgrades that to like change your playstyle at all. So you're you're pretty much just doing the same thing again and again. So it, it's a very casual game, and it feels more suited to be on uh, like. Uh, a flash game site rather than a uh, pay site, but whatever the case, I look forward to this guy, the developer, Toby, um, developing more because I really like the play style and the art style is cool. Uh, it just um, just needs more in my opinion. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Jay Zan. Again, I'll, I'll put the game store page in the description. It's not really a whole lot else to say about it, or show about it even, because it's pretty much the game. Uh, the the dungeon layouts. That's one other thing. The stages don't really change it very much either. Um, like you might go into a different dungeon and it's really the same thing just different tile set for the most part which is kind of usual for most roguelikes anyway but yeah so um so yeah thank you very much for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe see you next time